isometric icons. The axonometric plane helps you to create perspective. There are several types. The isometric with equal size, the dimetric with a wider perspective, and the trimetric with an asymmetric perspective. Let's open Inkscape, and with Ctrl Shift D, we open the properties window. Let's click the Grids tab and select Axonometric Grid. Click New and you're done. You can activate or deactivate it just clicking the Active checkbox. At the Snap tab, the option Snap to Grid will allow you to work easily, since your pointer will auto-adjust to the closest axe it finds. If we zoom in or out, grids will auto-adjust, which will help us to see the smallest details without care about the zoom. Let's click on the Vessier Curve tool and make a line following the grid. Each vertex will auto-adjust to our grid. To finish an open line, just double-click. Repeat the process a couple of times and you will get your isometric perspective phase. In this example, I will do a small rectangle. That's why I have duplicated my baseline with Ctrl D. Now, with the Bezier Curve tool and using the base plane we just did, Draw the corresponding square to each side of our figure. To close the square, just click the start vertex. Repeat this process three times, so you get the three visible sides of your figure. If you wish, you can remove the baselines. Select all your cube to give it color. Press Ctrl Shift F to open the color panel and select a base color. In my case, I like working without borders, so deactivate them if you want. Now comes the magic. Select the upper side and give it a lighter color. Then select the left side and give it a darker color. Doing this will make the perspective sensation come to life. On this example, I will add some grabbing tape. Now you can add effects, details and more elements, so your figure gets more realism. Remember that since this is a vector, you can always modify it without rebuilding it. Select your wrapping tape and following the last procedure, add some color. I think I did the box too bright. So I will select the initial box again and make it a bit darker. Remember to give a side a tone more brighter and another one a tone more darker to add some perspective. So 
And that's it. It's a simple process, right? Here you have another example. Always start from your base plane, whether it's isometric, dimetric, or trimetric. Add your three base layers, and from there, add some details. And now it's time to chase some Daleks. Using grids, we can create complete icon packs. So I have done 10 isometric boxes, which you can download at tatika.org. 